In the last video, we have looked at a very simple JavaScript sandbox escape by abusing the constructor property of the scope object to get an instance of the function constructor, which we then use to generate a function with alert and execute it. In this video, we will have a look at a different sandbox bypass for the version 1.4.7. A lot of internal stuff has changed between the old version 1.0.8 uh, and this one, but we will figure it out. Again, credit for this bypass goes entirely to all those amazing researchers who looked at AngularJS in the past, and the bypass I'm showing here was found by Gareth Hayes. So let's move on to this new AngularJS version and try to use our old bypass. And let's see what happens. Hmm, no alert. Let's have a look at the console. Error, referencing function. Uh, notice the capital written function? That refers to the function constructor. You know, that we used to call alert. In Angular, JS expression is disallowed. Okay, crazy. Angular refuses to work with the function constructor that we got by following the constructor from the scope. In the stack trace, we can also find the function where this error is coming from. It is coming from ensure safe object. Click on it to see the function. This is it. And here's quite a clever check if the object coming in as a parameter obj is the function constructor. I've briefly mentioned that the highest constructor in JavaScript is the function constructor. This means that if you try to get the constructor of the function constructor, you will end up with the function constructor again. So when obj is already a function constructor, the constructor of that will be again the function constructor. So this if will evaluate to true and throw this error. And as you can see, I've also modified this AngularJS code and added debugger statements as breakpoints in multiple places. This will stop the execution when you have the developer console open. Now I will take the sandbox bypass from Gareth Hayes and we will step through the JavaScript code to see how it works and why it works. But that might get a bit freaky. So we will start by looking at this expression and try to get a first understanding on what it tries to achieve. And in a follow up video, we will then see how this actually works inside of AngularJS. First of all, I will modify this a bit and instead of array.join, I will use string.concat. I think that's a bit less confusing. I will also modify the actual payload a little bit to make it more clear and also add a breakpoint into it before we call alert. So as you can see, this expression has actually two parts. The first part with some weird prototype stuff and an assignment. And separated, um, like JavaScript with a semicolon, is another expression with a dollar evil. I hope you remember the first video where I explained that dollar evil is just evaluating an AngularJS expression. It's equivalent to double curly braces. So this whole thing is basically an AngularJS expression with another expression evaluated inside. Let's have a look at the first part. So, it somehow does something with charad. Charad is a standard string function. It returns the character at the index given as parameter. So charad0 returns the character a, and charad1 the s. But what about that constructor prototype stuff? So the expressions start with a string and reference the constructor of that which obviously gives us access to the string constructor. Note that this is not a dangerous object yet, like the function constructor. I mean, what harm can a string constructor do that only allows us to create new strings? From the string constructor, it now references prototype. And prototype is fancy JavaScript. Every string we use is a descendant from the string object. And prototype can be used to reference the actual function or method that is inherited to all string objects. So we are now referencing the charred function that all other strings inherit. And now the exploit wants to assign something different to that method. What the fuck? It wants to assign the concat function. So let's see what concat does. String b dot concat is also a string function or method. It concatenates another string. So for example, append the string ccc to b, which returns bccc. So now let's overwrite the prototype char ed with concat. And now the string asd.charEd suddenly returns the concat function instead of char ed. 
what the hell? And when we now perform the char add like we did at the beginning, we don't get the first character, uh, we append zero to the string. So that first part of the expression attempts to completely destroy how string char add function works. If that is successful, you can imagine very, very weird things happen if something is relying on char add. And if we look at where our first breakpoint hit, AngularJS uses char add to do something. So what will happen? Find out on the next episode of the series to step through the actual AngularJS exploit and see how it screws the internal state of AngularJS. Oh, 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 oh,